I'm not saying he was being sneaky, but I'm just saying it was kind of weird to me. This is my background music, cause I don't wanna get copyrighted, so I made my own shit to this beat, kinda laying low key, but join the team. Subscribe, subscribe. What is up you guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to my channel, I'm Deja. Hello! Today I'm going to be telling you guys about the time that I found out what a OF was, um, what a only was, I don't know if I can say I'm not trying to get flagged over here on YouTube. I'm gonna just tell you how I found out what this site was, what it contained, what it had on there, um, it shook me to my core. Like, so if this is something that you would like to hear, keep on watching, if this is your first time seeing my face, what's good, what's Gucci, I'm Deja. Hit that subscribe button, follow me on all my other social media accounts there down below. Um, I talk with my hands a lot, so if that annoys you, I don't I don't know what to tell you. But yeah, let's just get right into the story. So this story starts with the male species. Um, any other story starts with the male species, you know it's gonna be tragic. So, mm, do I really want to give this man the names? I don't really feel the need because he's really not relevant. Um, he, that's gonna be his name, his name is he. Boom, let me just paint the picture for you guys. This was, I don't wanna put a date on it, although, you guys really don't know who I talk to in my personal life other than the two relationships I brought to the internet. And you know, one of them I'm still in, that's my baby. Yeah, so you guys wouldn't know. So this was some time ago, okay? Before the OF thing was as big as it is now, was, cause it's not really that big no more. But was, okay? No one was really talking about it, like as on Instagram and stuff like that. No one was talking about it, so I didn't know what it was. So boom, I was talking to this one man. I felt like we were kind of serious. Um, we was talking for a minute. I'ma just tell you guys about how his house was set up and give you like little here and there up until the day I found out what the hell was going on okay so look so house how his house was set up um he had a house a two-story a couple bedrooms really nice and one of the bedrooms he turned to like his office area stuff like that in the office he had you know his computer his desk um also had a tv in there keep noting that and how the office was set up is you could see when you walk into the door you could see the screen of his computer like the desktop right okay Keep that in mind. When you open the door, you can see the screen of the desktop. So the door is behind his computer chair, okay? I would go over there, we would chill, we would go out, have fun, do some things. Um, normal, it was normalcy, normalcy. But the times that I would go over there and like spend the night and stuff, um, he has insomnia, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically you have a trouble with sleeping. Um, so I will be asleep and he will be up until I don't know what time, but I will wake up in the morning, he laying next to me, so. Mm. So uh, me, I've been having this thing since I was little, I wake up, go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, no matter where. I am no matter whose house I'm at okay I am getting up and using the bathroom at least once in the middle of the night so this will happen um I will wake up you know do my norms go pees or whatever then get back in the bed sometimes he would be there sometimes he wouldn't now let me tell you the times that he wouldn't so I remember specifically it was like 3 30 ish in the morning he wasn't next to me and I'm like Okay, I mean he hasn't saw me like I know sometimes he'll just go to his office or go downstairs watch TV stuff like that And I'm like mm, it's like 3 30. Why you not sleep yet? You know like I know you haven't saw me yet, but like get your ass to bed What I do is I get up and go see where he at, you know, it's um dark throughout the house But I see light coming from underneath the door of his office now remember I told you the computer screen light gonna shine towards the door cuz you can see the computer when you open the door. And also he had a TV in there, so I don't know if it's the computer light or the TV, okay? So, and what I do is quietly try to open the door. Um, when I do this, the door don't open, it's locked. So I'm like, I really don't wanna not, cause like I'm sleeping anyway, like I'm just go to bed. But then it also was like, why are you locking doors? Like it's only me and you in the house, one, two. Maybe it's a habit because I know when I come into rooms and stuff, I lock the door behind me sometimes, not all the time. So I know some people have habits of that. I'm not saying he was being sneaky, but I'm just saying it was kind of weird to me. So I took mental note of that, boom. That was one occasion, okay? Um, I would say I went over there like two, three days later. Same thing happened, okay? I wake up in the midnight, go pee. Um, I realize he not next to me, so I'm like, okay, where are you? And I was like, let me go see if the locked door was just an accident, or if it's a habit, or if you're sneaky, sir, like you are a male. Mm -hmm. 
So I was like, let me go see. Go to the door, try to turn the handle, and <laughs> what happens? Mm -hmm. Can't open the door. And I'm like, huh, do I not? Do I say something? It's just weird, like it's weird. So that was two. Now, to make sure that I wasn't tripping, I just waited. Like I didn't say anything to him. I didn't ask him like, why you be locking the door? Cause like, I don't want him to be on to me just in case he is being sneaky. Like I need to have all my key points so he won't be like, oh, you crazy. Cause that's a nigga favorite line. You crazy, like, no nigga, you just mad cause you caught. Anyways, besides the point. So, that's already two occasions where the locked the doors is locked, okay? Occasion number three comes, I go over there, sleep, same thing happens, and I'm like, bro, are you being nice to me at this point? Are you just like, I'm gonna let her get her beauty rest and go watch TV in the office. But if you watch the TV, why are you locking the door? Is it a habit? No, it's not a habit, like you're being sneaky, bro. So, something in my heart told me he's being sneaky. I get up, same thing, like I said, I'm asleep, I get up to go pee, I don't know what time it is. The last two occasions I didn't look. I just know the first time it was 3.30ish or something. So I get up and I go pee and I'm like, let me go see. I see the light underneath the door is shining at the end of the hallway, just shining. So I'm like, all right, quietly try to turn the door handle, it's locked. And I'm like, it's only two to three of things. One or two of things, cause you're a thicker. Um, One, you in there beating your, doing something you're not supposed to be doing, you know? Or two, you in there doing something you're not supposed to be doing. Who you talking to on your phone? Who got your attention at 3.30ish just that night? Okay, sir? So I'm like, it's just not adding up to me. Like, something's not right. Something's not right. And it's weird because every time this would happen, I wouldn't say anything, but I would wake up in the morning and he laying next to me like, nothing never happened. So I'm like, he don't know I be getting up to go. I know he don't know because he never said nothing about it. Did he know? I don't know. But he just never said nothing about it. So I'm thinking like, I go to sleep around 12-ish, 1. You be in the bed with me in the morning so <laughs> you don't know. Well, I'm supposed to not know what time you get in the bed type of thing. So it was just really weird, okay? Three times. I let it slide three times because I just wanted to make sure I wasn't tripping, you know? So I let it slide three times and I'm like, all right, third time's a charm. You're, you're being sneaky, you're doing something you're not supposed to, sir. It was like four or five days after the third occurrence of the locked door in this office, okay? I go over there and it was supposed to be like a movie day. You know, we're gonna get food, watch movies, make snacks, stuff like that. We're chilling downstairs in his living room and it comes to the time of, mm, we're both hungry. I wanted to go pick up food from this teriyaki place. I remember because that teriyaki was busted. He was like, I'm gonna go to this teriyaki place or whatever. And the teriyaki place was like, seven minutes down the road, but I knew for a fact it took them a good 10 to 16, 17 minutes to cook your food. So he was gonna be there because we tried to call an order, but they didn't answer the phone besides the point. So he had to drive and make the order in person. So I knew he was gonna be gone for a good 20, 25 minutes. Yeah, I'm telling y'all as soon as he left, tires barely left the driveway, hit the pavement. My ass sprinted up the stairs, okay? I didn't think, I didn't hesitate. I run up them stairs because something is in that office that got your attention. My voice is so annoying. <laughs> that got your attention until who knows what time because I be going to sleep. I didn't even think, I didn't, I don't even, I don't even know what I was up there looking for. I just ran upstairs and something in my heart, I don't ever, I, this was the first and the last time I've ever done this because me personally, I don't go through nobody's phone. I just feel like if if I have a lingering, is that a word? Mm. <laughs> if I get this feeling that I need to go through your phone, that means you doing something off rip because my intuition never fails me, honey. That means you're doing something and that means I don't need to be with you. When you go looking, you gonna find something. I'm not trying to get my feelings hurt. So I'ma just mm, pass, just something I don't do. Um, I did it a couple times, got my feelings hurt. I learned, learned from my first relationship that you shouldn't be doing stuff like that. So, <laughs> I went up to this man's office. Like I told y'all, he had a TV in there, so I didn't know if the light was coming from the TV or the computer. But listen, something in my heart, my guts, my intuition told me to go on that man's computer. I go on this man's computer. I don't know what I was looking for. Like I was confused. I just knew the Lord himself told me to go to that office, go on that computer, and click on them emails. Why was I in the emails? I don't know. First of all, he had a Mac. 
So like I could have just clicked to see if his phone was connected and see if his messages was on there. But the messages didn't even come to my mind. The emails did. So I go on his email, click, already signed into the little Google account. So I click on Gmail and I'm looking and I'm like, what are you looking for, Deja? Like, I don't know. Why am I here? I don't know. But I know that the Lord told me to come here, so I'm going to come here. So I'm looking, scrolling, and then I start seeing weird shit, okay? It was weird. I start seeing this name of this email. Like, the email is obviously fake because the name, I don't remember the name, but let's just say the name was like John John at yahoo.com, okay? Like, whose name is John John? It's a lot of people named John John, but like, Jonathan. Jonathan whose name is Jonathan Jonathan nobody so I see this email from Jonathan Jonathan and I'm like who is this because it's a lot like it's a lot and I'm like mm. so I look and I realize that this Jonathan Jonathan email is sending and receiving money from this man so I'm messing with but it's also weird because I'm seeing like cash apps and then like bank transfers from him to Jonathan Jonathan. And then I'm seeing transfers from Jonathan Jonathan to a whole bunch of different girls like Gmails, Cash Apps, bank statements, stuff like that, okay? It's just not adding up to me. Like it's not, it's not adding up. What are you doing? Are you scamming? Like what are you doing? And where are you getting all this money from, sir? Scrolling, scrolling, I'm seeing Jonathan, Jonathan sending back and forth. And then it would be like a lot of money getting sent to him from this account, but then like distribute in little amounts. And it would be like 12 times a day. And then it will stop for like a day or two. And then it will be like seven times a day. And I'm like, what are y'all, what are you and Jonathan Jonathan doing? Like, what are y'all, where's the money going to? Like, I was just really confused. I was a little invested because I'm like, if you a scanner, let me know you're a scanner before I start messing with you. And I've been messing with you for a minute, so I would really know if you a scammer scammer. And if you are a scammer scammer, then you just not a scammer scammer for real. Cause where the money at, you know? I'm scrolling, 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 and then I see this name from this girl that popped up in my head because I was introduced to this girl. I'ma say her name was Crystal. I seen Crystal's name on the email, but it was a cash app that he sent to Crystal for like $25, right? And I'm like, okay, how I was introduced to this girl was, it was his cousin's cousin so they're not really related but they related because they all grew up together type of thing you know how black people are so that was his cousin's cousin so basically it was his cousin but i'm like no because y'all not blood but anyway so i had seen that he sent crystal 25 dollars or whatever on cash out and it was late at night and i was like okay maybe like she just was in a time of need and he was the only one type of answering type of thing you know then i started seeing names from a different girls a lot of different girls and then what caught my attention and made me do my inspector gadget was it was an email that was a confirmation, like a confirmation from a website. This website, the OF website, is, I've seen the name. It was a confirmation for linking his credit card to the website, his, his profile or whatever, right? So when I seen the name of it, I'm like, what is this? Because then I seen the name and I typed on the search of the name of the site and I seen a lot of shit pop up. And I'm like, y'all, this time I'm, you would think I was a computer genius at this point. I'm on here, I type in the site, the OF sites in the search bar and hella shit popped up and I was just really confused. So when I seen this, I go on to Instagram because I was like, I've never heard of this site. So I type in on Instagram the site, the page comes up, but it's not nothing like, mm, Mm, you know, I'm like, okay, this doesn't really give me a lot of information on what this is. And I'm like, I don't know if it's, crazy and that's why it's not giving me a lot of information because you know instagram don't play that they censor a lot of that stuff so i'm like i don't know if it's that so let me just hmm, go on twitter when i go on twitter this is where i seen everything i needed to say okay and this is where i was like mm, you got me i go on twitter type in the site it comes up and I just start seeing pictures and I start seeing tweets and I'm like, oh, so that's what this is. Okay, all right. Then it's talking about subscription here, subscription there. And I'm like, okay. Then I see that you can set a certain price for your subscriptions. And I'm like, making sense of where the money is coming in, right? 
Okay, all right, so I'm like, I'm confused at this point because don't they have websites for free? Like they for sure have websites for free. You just type in what you wanna watch and you can see anything. Like, it's free. I'm confused. I'm confused on why you're sending your money for something that's free on the internet. That's neither here or there. That's me personally, I ain't doing it, okay? So we see all of this. Well, not we, I, my eyes, I all of this then I'm like okay that's what it is so now I know what I'm supposed to be looking for low-key so I tune back into the emails and I'm just scrolling and I see all these different girls names they emails da -da -da. so I click on one I don't know why I clicked on it but I, I'm telling you the Lord was in my fingers this day click on this email and it was from this girl you know how like you get an email you have to download when they send like attachments and stuff attachments but then I also seen that it was like more emails involved so I scroll up a little bit and I was like oh it said from him I sent it so then the next one was the attachment what you saying why what why you have to wait to get like send something to get, receive something I'm like mm -hmm. hold on because by this time I was in the office for a good 10 minutes I knew like I couldn't be in here any longer because he's gonna be back so if I don't have hardcore evidence then I'm gonna be like oh you crazy why you doing this? You crazy. You know, like niggas be doing that shit. So I'm like, I gotta have concrete evidence so then I can make my argument. So I click on the email, like I said, attachments. Um, click on it, it says download. <laughs> I download it. I don't give a fuck if it was in your computer already or not. Download it. Then I wait for the little thing to finish downloading at the top. Click on that and when I clicked on that, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have been being nosy, but I'm telling y'all, the Lord himself that day told me, you need to see this for your own eyes because even I'm shocked. So I'm like, all right, Jesus, let me listen to you. Click on it, I download it, and when I download it, it a video popped up on the screen, and just, Puss. it was just loud. And I was like, eh! and it was this girl just like playing by herself and stuff like that, and I was like, shocked. Like, it popped up and I was like, oh, my eyes. Oh my God, what are do you be in here doing, sir? Oh my God. I was shook, like, I was shocked on that. And I'm like, oh, I exited it out and then I download the other one because now I'm invested and I'm real nosy. So I click on it, download it, and at this time, download it, I opened it, and it was just like pictures, videos, and it popped up. Now let me tell you, one popped up. So I click on it, I download it, and it's like a picture pop up, right? Popped up just vagina. And I'm like, nah, nah. that popped up. <laughs> and this is where I get a little scared because it popped up, then another one popped up, and another one popped up. And y'all seen them movies that it be doing like, if the shit just be popping up all over the screen, you gotta hurry up and cancel out before the person walk in the room. So that happened and my heart dropped because I was like, if 60 more emails start downloading and popping up on this screen, the pictures are just vaginas everywhere, I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> get caught I'm over here trying to cancel out and just praying to the Lord that no more open up and I'm just like cancel out all the pictures and shit and then I'm just furious at this point like all like common sense kind of left my brain because I'm mad and when I don't really get mad off oh, this was a long time ago I'm talking future me back then Deja <laughs> I'm still like that, but like, listen, back then, Deja, you couldn't tell me nothing. When I'm mad, red, red, that's all I see, I black out, like, I'm mad, bad. Now, Deja, I'm not gonna argue with you. Like, I'm not gonna argue with nobody, honestly. I never really argue with people, but niggas, I was arguing with them. So, back then, it was like, mm, common sense left my brain, so... I honestly don't know how the conversation went because it was so long ago, but I know when he came home, he heard it. You know what the first thing I said? Comment down below if you know the first thing I said. What's the first thing that comes to your mouth? I know you thought about it. When you argue with your nigga, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? That come out of your mouth? I find it funny how. <laughs> I find it funny how and so that's what I said I said I just find it so funny how you're paying for <laughs> and it's free and when I said that you should have seen the look on this man's face lord I wish I could just take a picture because he looked like he was like oh my only secret that I kept inside and didn't tell anybody is just out in the world that's how his face was and I was like mm, you dirty dirty like you dirty <laughs> you're weird bro
<laughs> I was like, you're weird. Like, that is so weird to me. And I don't really remember how the conversation or the argument in depth went, but along the lines of, I remember I said that, I just find it funny how you're paying for something that's free. Like, I'm confused. And then I was like, first of all, you, I'm, I'm in the room. What? Like, I, uh, no. Mm -hmm. I, speechless. I was speechless then. I just, I still don't, under, I can't comprehend it, you guys. Like, I really don't know. I really don't know. I don't even have the energy for it no more. Like, my whole energy just went down telling this damn story because it's not, I, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know now, and I did not know then, but I just know it was a long talk. The man was crying. Um, he begged me to the gods to um, still talk to him and be with him and all this other stuff, and I did for like a week or two, and I was just like, mm, yeah, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not a cheater, uh, so I'm doing cheating vibes. Mm, shouldn't even be with you, so I just not be with him no more. Yeah, I just went along the line of that. He was crying, and then it was this one specific thing that I remember because he was begging me to be with him, and I just felt so bad. I don't know why, but I just hate making people feel bad, and I had secondhand embarrassment from this man, like what the sh that he was telling me, just secondhand embarrassment. And I was just like, you got a lot of problems, sir. So he was telling me like, please, like, you know, like don't tell anybody. And I remember specifically, I told this man, I looked him dead in his eyes and I said, if this ever happens again, I ain't even gonna come to you. I'm posting this shit everywhere because he was telling me like nobody knows it's like his friends don't know all this and that and i was like you do this again and i find out you're on this website sending money to riches. oh oh I, you're got to get blasted on every social media site that's out i don't even have him but i'm gonna make it just to tell everybody that's how i felt so yeah like i said i messed with him for like a week or two after that and then after that I was just like mm, mm, i really don't like you so like mm. I'm just let it go, you know? Yeah, that's how I found out what uh, only was or whatever, the OF site, um, how, what it contains. And like I said, I was beyond shook. And pictures and videos start popping up on this man's computer screen. The rage that went through my body was something that I just cannot describe. I was more mad at the fact you sending money to bitches. Send it to me, like, the same amount you said it is, send it to me. What are we doing? What are we doing? Like, I don't know. I was just really confused. But yeah, that's how I found out. If you have a crazy ass story like this, comment down below or comment if you found out how you found out about the site. You found out through a man's, comment it down below and let me hear your story. But yeah, that's mine. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you made it this far and you're not yet subscribed. Woo! Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. They are down below. And on that note, I love you! Bye!